Pop Smoke, How a Kid from Brooklyn Revived Gangster Rap. Pop Smoke quickly made a name for himself in the rap game. Hailing from Brooklyn, New York, the late rapper's ability to make a hit song greatly helped his career. His sudden death shocked many fans and artists around the world because his name was on a huge rise. Born as Bashar Jackson, Brooklyn's music culture heavily influenced the rapper into becoming a star we all love. Pop Smoke's unique voice caught the ears of big names in the industry. The work that he put out while he was here did not go unrecognized. Today at Lime Report, we will be covering how Pop Smoke revived gangster rap. New York was really on the up with all of the talent coming out of the city recently. Pop Smoke's death is detrimental to what the culture could have been. Do you think that Pop Smoke is going to be the future of gangster rap? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Watch until the end to find out how Pop Smoke revived gangster rap. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to comment keyword woo to enter for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. After the release of his mixtape, Meet the Woo 2, sequel to mixtape titled Meet the Woo, Pop Smoke's career was only getting better. Born in Brooklyn, New York, his accent played a big role in his unique style. He spent his upbringing on the Canarsie side of Brooklyn, born to a Panamanian father and a Jamaican mother. Pop Smoke grew up culture. His name was even given to him thanks to his grandmother. Bashar explained as a child growing up, his Panamanian grandmother would call him Papa. His friends would eventually shorten that to just Pop. Pop Smoke's name in the streets at the time was Smoke Agap. Only Smoke would stay. They just remixed the Pop with the Smoke, and it just became one, the rapper said. From then on, Pop Smoke was born. He grew up an athlete. He played football and basketball. But after he was diagnosed with a heart murmur, his hoop dreams were shattered. At 15, Jackson was a talented enough basketball player to earn himself a scholarship to a prep school in Philadelphia. But his stay in Philly did not last very long. A fight outside a restaurant quickly sent Pop Smoke back to Brooklyn. Given the circumstances, he ended up selling drugs like others in his neighborhood, Canarsie. He started making money in the streets as a young teen. He positioned himself to be at the top. At only 16, he bought a BMW 5 Series. You like nice things? You gotta do things to get nice things, he said. At 16, I had a 5 Series, he continued. Before then, he went viral in a world star video back in 2012 when a group of other kids started smacking and hitting a young Pop Smoke. I'm glad it happened as a kid, he said. I realized it's time to boss up. Life ain't sweet, the Brooklyn-born rapper continued. He was hustling hard. Buying a $50,000 car is not something many 16-year-olds are able to do. Hustling was in his genes. Also, while giving the street life, Pop Smoke served two years on house arrest for a weapons charge. Continue watching as we'll come back to that later. Shortly after, when he turned 18, Pop Smoke began his rap career. Bashar also had a federal case involving him and a stolen Rolls Royce Wraith, which he had borrowed for a music video. He was arrested at JFK Airport and released on a $250,000 bond after pleading not guilty. In late 2018, Pop Smoke released his first song titled MPR. Since then, it's only been up and up. The young Brooklyn rapper didn't even intend to become a rapper, but one day while in the studio with a close friend and rapper Jay Guapo, they were both under the influence of marijuana, which saw Jay Guapo fall asleep. Eventually, Pop Smoke decided that he had nothing better to do than to record over a YouTube beat made by 808 Mello. That song would later become NPR. Pop Smoke was the biggest star to appear from Brooklyn Drill, the new version of the Chicago music culture that also drew on the UK's own version of drill music. Working mostly with the London producer 808 Mello, Pop Smoke developed a grime sound. Mixed in with his Brooklyn accent, he was the face of New York drill music. Chicago drill pioneers like Chief Keef and Jay Herbo play a big factor in Pop Smoke's influence and in the entire drill scene. Pop Smoke's sound was developed from the UK's grime. The high tempo beats and unique slang all derived from Chicago's drill scene. Pop Smoke also gets many comparisons to 50 Cent, multi-platinum legend. The 20-year-old rapper even has songs that reference 50 Cent songs. One song, titled PTSD, has the same sound as what many would say sounds like a hip 50 Cent song. The 20-year-old New Yorker has another song titled Christopher Walking, in which he references 50 Cent's hit song Window Shopper in one of his bars. Pop, he's 50 Cent. He's like a new version of it, said the Get Rich or Die Trying rapper in an interview with Angie Martinez. He followed up by saying, I like his style and energy. It's not mine, it's my voice. Like if we actually talk in the same room, you will hear some of the same things, like you hear the same tones. That's why I was like, nah, he's copying me. Pop Smoke said that whenever he would talk with 50, he would be all ears. His sound is very similar. Many people looked at Pop Smoke as the new 50 Cent. After the news of the Brooklyn-made rapper's death was released, 
many people took to social media. 50 Cent, who was seen photographed with Pop Smoke numerous times, posted a video on Twitter with the caption, Rest in peace to my man Pop Smoke. No sympathy for winners. God bless him. It is now being said that 50 wants to executive produce Pop Smoke's upcoming album, which would be big for 50 Cent's name. I met 50. How was that? When I meet, when 50, when I meet 50, I just miss him. Yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? I can't really talk with 50 talk with just let him talk. Well, also because then if you say something and he puts it on the gram, something he don't like, <laughs> you're in a weird, you know, you gotta be careful what you say to 50 all the yeah, time. Yeah, you gotta watch it. You gotta but watch I know 50, me and 50 like the same, so I know all the plays. Yeah. I know what you're moving. In April of 2019, hit single, Welcome to the Party, was released by the Canarsie rapper, which was his hit single on his debut mixtape, Meet the Woo. Welcome to the Party got a lot of attention and was one of the hottest songs of summer 19. Nicki Minaj, French Montana, and Skepta split their verses on remixes, and Travis Scott brought Pop Smoke in to appear on Gotti, a hit song from his Jack Boys album. Gotti would be Pop Smoke's first song to hit the Billboard Hot 100 in his short career. Nicki Minaj and Travis Scott both had especially good connections with the late rapper, as Nicki Minaj actually co-signed Pop Smoke. His love for New York was quite expressive through his music. On his most recent mixtape, Meet the Woo 2, he has features from many of New York's hottest artists. Pop Smoke is featured with the likes of A Boogie, Lil TJ, and 5 e for it, who are all New York rappers. I guess you can say Pop Smoke puts on for his city. His unexpected and painful loss will be felt on both sides of the world. It's difficult to summarize a career that was cut as short as his. But in the few months he was around, the Brooklyn native managed to not only establish New York real as a force to be reckoned with, but also renew interest in New York hip-hop in general. Pop Smoke followed hit after hit. Another song that was a New York anthem was Dior. His catchy hooks mixed with the drums and snarls made the song pop. After releasing Meet the Woo 2, the Ganarzi rapper decided to release a deluxe version, which included a Dior remix featuring Gunna and War featuring Lil TJ. He also has Nav and Quavo on his mixtape. It was actually rumored that Quavo and Pop Smoke had an album together that was supposed to be released. Do you think that Quavo should still release the album? Let us know in the comments below. Bashar Jackson, better known as Pop Smoke, made a name for himself out of Brooklyn. Once after a shopping trip to Patron in Brooklyn, the 20-year-old rapper jumped behind the wheel of his Range Rover. You're going to see a lot of flossing, a lot of young kids, they look rich. He said about the Brooklyn neighborhood, they got cars, designer bags, designer belts, designer sneakers. They get a lot of money over here. Pop Smoke is talking about his neighborhood in Brooklyn, Canarsie, which is also recognized as the Flossy. After his death, the late rapper's fan base only continued to grow. His streams were up almost 400% after his death. Meet the Woo 2, Pop Smoke's second mixtape, didn't really receive the recognition it deserved until the weeks leading up to his death. The Brooklyn-born artist's career was just about booming. With many unreleased projects, who knows how much Pop Smoke music there may be. So many talented artists have been working with the 20-year-old. Travis Scott, Quavo, Meek Mill, Lil TJ, Nicki Minaj, the list goes on. Travis Scott teased a song the two had together in a Twitter post the day of Pop Smoke's death. 50 Cent also posted a snippet to the late rapper's Many Men cover with the caption saying, I told you bleep to make sure nothing happens to him. What the bleep, man? He was on his way. Celebrities definitely let their feelings on the tragic case be known. Things are still being discovered about Pop Smoke's case. Originally, it was thought to be a home invasion robbery that ended up with a Brooklyn star dead. But things are pointing more in the direction of a targeted hit. When an unidentified group of four to six men broke into Bashar Jackson's home at four in the morning, a source from New York had alerted LA authorities. Bashar Jackson was shot and killed by the only shots fired in the house. The intruders left with no items, which tells investigators that he was targeted. By the time Pop Smoke was found wounded and sent to the hospital, he had passed. Pop Smoke died at Cedar sinai Medical Center, which was the same hospital Biggie also happened to die in. Two Brooklyn rap stars. Pop Smoke was taking his talents to the max, after only being in the rap game for only 14 months, Bashar Jackson definitely made an impact. He will be known as a pioneer for Brooklyn drill music. His flossy style was enough to win over the ears and hearts of many fans. Pop Smoke's music could make anyone want to dance. Recognition from some of the greats in the game goes a long way. The connections he made would have only made his name bigger. Pop Smoke is worldwide, with fans in Paris and England to name a few countries that love his style. Thanks for tuning in to Lime Report as we covered Pop Smoke. How a kid from Brooklyn revived gangster rap. Seeing someone with so much promise have their career taken short is heartbreaking. Pop Smoke hadn't been in rapping for more than two years. Do you think that Pop Smoke was becoming the face of hip-hop for New York? Let us know what you think in the comments below. 
please leave us a like on this video and comment woo to enter for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway.